We are following four recruits on their journeys to become Tucson police officers. I'm in training with them, showing you what they see and feel along the way. And in part five of our series, we head to the firing range. feels different. It's something that you're not used to. You have to be very careful. It's something that you have to make sure that you are comfortable with. One shot and it could, everything could be over. It's the most critical training these police recruits will get. Everything from cleaning and loading a gun to pulling the trigger. I think it's extremely important to be aware of your surroundings and be aware of um, where that bullet is going to go because you have to take all the liability for that bullet. Being a first time shooter, you had a lot to learn. It was very intimidating. I, I would come here like the first few days and I was very tense all the time. Honestly, after a couple of days of practicing all that stuff, it just keeps on switching and, and you start feeling a little bit better. Part of getting better is using that anxiety to learn trigger control. Each trigger pull is about four pounds of pressure. So you go one pound by one pound and you want to be kind of scared when the gun goes off. That way you're not dipping the gun down or dipping it forward. We have to make sure to take our guns home to practice and dry fire. Um, so it's a little bit extra work after. Go down and take a look. Today, that work is paying off. We did our official qualification today for firearms. We have to shoot at 210. I shot at 245, so we're, we're doing all right out of 250. It's just a lot of emotion, um, a lot of emotion. Passing is especially special for recruit Joaquin Martinez, <laughs> who weeks before suffered a knee injury during training. My patella uh, popped out of place uh, while I was doing the pet and assailant. First time suffering an injury like at that magnitude, so um, it was pretty, pretty hard on myself, pretty hard on my, on my body too. But since then, he's been able to recover and refocus. Back to giving this training his best shot. This has been always my dream to be a police officer, and and at one point I thought that that dream was going to be uh, kind of at a pause for a little bit due to the injury. But uh, I just want to, I just want to work as hard as I can to be to to get to that point. More training to 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 come and to be a better officer for for the community.